the South Langley Kids Church at home. Today, we're going to be hanging out online again. It was so cool to see some of you guys watching along last week. Remember that one of the cool things about hanging out on a video is you guys can pause the video whenever I ask a question and talk about it with your family. Also, remember to ask your parents to download the family lesson guide so that you can follow along and do some discussion questions at home. This week, we also have a family activity guide so that you can do activities throughout the week. If you post pictures or videos of your families doing the activities, we could even feature you in this video. Before we get started, let's pray for our lesson this morning. Dear God, help us to learn more about you today. Help us to pay attention so that we can hear everything that you want to teach us. Thank you that we can learn about you no matter where we are. In Jesus' name, amen. Last week, we learned that God is mysterious, and we don't always understand him. One of the activities that I told you to do in our family lesson guide was to walk around your house and find things that you don't understand how they work, like a toilet. I totally don't understand how a toilet flushes, but I know that when I press the lever, it flushes away. Even though I don't understand how or why God does things, I can still have faith in Him. Today, we're going to learn a new word about God. Let's check it out. I can't wait to tell you what the word is, but I don't want to tell you yet. It's a secret for um, now. Sarah. See, it's this really cool word about God, and I have this super awesome plan Sarah, for Sarah, the wall. Wall. It's already on the wall. I guess the secret's out. Today's word is everywhere. God is everywhere. Have you guys ever had a hard time keeping a secret? You know, keeping a secret, that reminds me of something that happened in today's Bible story. Let's check it out. Today's story comes from 2 Kings. Do you guys remember Elisha from last week? Elisha was a prophet, which means that he told people messages from God. Elisha's people were at war with Arameans. The king of Aram was at war with Israel. He talked things over with his officers. Then he said, I'm going to set up camp in a certain place. Elisha, the man of God, sent a message to the king of Israel. Elisha said, try to stay away from that place. Aram's army is going to be down there. The king of Israel checked on the place the man of God had told him about. Time after time, Elisha warned the king, so the king was on guard in those places. The king of Aram couldn't keep his battle plans a secret because God was showing them to Elisha. God is everywhere, so he could hear all the plans that the king was making and tell Elijah what they were. That made it hard for the Arameans to win a battle. So the king of Aram was mad at Elijah. He asked people to go find and capture Elijah. Go and find out where he is, the king ordered. Then I can send my men and capture him. The report came back. The officer said, he's in Dothan. Then the king sent his horses and chariots and strong men there. They went at night and surrounded the city. When Elijah and his servant woke up the next day, this is what they saw. The servant of the man of God got up the next morning. He went out early. He saw that an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my master, the servant said. What can we do? Elisha's servant was scared, but Elijah wasn't. He knew that God is everywhere, so we look for him around us. And that's what he told his servant to do. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Then Elijah prayed, Lord, open my servant's eyes so that he can see. Then the Lord opened his eyes. Elijah's servant looked up and saw the hills. He saw that Elijah was surrounded by horses and chariots made of fire, 
Let's see what happens when we look for God around us. When the lights were on, all you could see were the enemies surrounding Elisha and his servant. But now you can really see God's huge armies of angels all around them. We may never be surrounded by an army that's trying to capture us, but sometimes we feel like we're surrounded by problems and worries. Pause the video and think about something that you're worried about. If you're comfortable, share it with your family or whoever you're watching with. When we feel surrounded by our problems, we can remember that God is everywhere. So we look for him all around us. His army of angels is always there, ready to support us, comfort us, and defend us. And God always wins. Check this verse out. Jesus was talking to his disciples about a time when they would feel alone. He told them these encouraging words. I have told you all of this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Because God is everywhere, we don't have to feel alone or overwhelmed by our problems. Earlier, you thought about your worries or maybe you even shared them. Those are real problems you're facing in your life right now. And Elisha's problems were real too. But when we face problems, we can remember that God is everywhere, so we can look for him around us. Those glow-in-the-dark figures have been there the whole time, but we can't see them very well in the light. Sometimes all we can see are the problems around us. But when we ask God to change our view, we'll find that we don't see our problems as much as we see God's hand at work in our lives. Detectives often search for fingerprints to identify people at crime scenes. Fingerprints are everywhere. Every person has a unique fingerprint that's unlike anyone else's. Check out your fingers. Can you see your own fingerprint? Fingerprints provide evidence to confirm a person's identity. Like you looked for your fingerprints, you can look for God. His fingerprints are all around us because God is everywhere. They're on every flower we see, every animal we observe, and every person we come in contact with. What can you do to better notice evidence of God around you? God is everywhere. Like detectives look for fingerprints, we can look for evidence of God in our everyday lives. Let's pray together. God. Open up our eyes and let us see that you are everywhere. Help us to know that even when we feel surrounded by fears and worries, you are there even when we can't see or feel you. Thank you for giving us friends and family who encourage us to trust and love you. We do love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us again today, guys. You can look in the description of this video for more questions to do at home, and we can't wait to see you again next week.